I don't know about you, but I was raised to fight back. You are having a midlife crisis trying to get where I've been. Well, if you want a map and miss me, you can have a So when you see me coming, you better back down. Hello, guys. Hope you're okay. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to do a special effects makeup tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create a broken nose. To create my broken nose, today I'm going to be using special effects wax. And this one is from Snazaroo. Reasonably priced, normally just under £4 or around 3 50 Depends on where you look. Uh, I always tend to get mine from off eBay. This is what it looks like and it's very different to other wax that you can buy. Um, I haven't got much left either so I'm going to have to get some more soon. But as you can see I've already taken off a bit which is the um, basically what I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to roll that into a thin line like so. And then I'm going to apply it to the bridge of my nose. Now this does not have to be perfect. I mean, if you think about it, if you've been whacked one in the nose, it's been split open. I don't think the person who's punched you in the first place is intentionally directing felt whatever on your nose. So, like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm just taking an orange stick. I'm just going to blend the edges into the skin. I'm just going to do the same on the other side as well. And like I said, just blend it in using your own stick. Next I'm going to take some talcum powder just to dust over the wax to help remove the stickiness of it. I'm going to use my Johnson's baby powder because it reminds me of the smell of baby's bums. And as I said I'm just going to brush that over the wax because this wax is so sticky it's unbelievable. And you need to remove that stickiness as simple as that. Now obviously when you've been smacked one in the nose, not only has it been split open, but there's going to be some serious bruising going on. So to begin the bruising, what I'm going to do is take a red eyeshadow and I'm going to firstly smudge that over the wax. And then what I'm going to do is also contour my inner hollows to exaggerate the bruising up towards the eyes. What I'm going to do is use this solo eyeshadow I've got from Saffron. It's shade number one, as you can see, it is lovely red. So, so let's start with the wax and just pat it on. And I do apologise if you do see cigarette smoke wafting past. I am having a cigarette at this precise moment and a cup of coffee. I've got absolutely nothing to do this afternoon. I'm so bored. Hence why I'm doing this for you guys. It wasn't planned. It's just someone thought, I know, I'll have a go at doing that. Okay, so that's the nose done. And as I said, I'm just going to slightly blend that into the inlet. On those, just to exaggerate the bruising a bit more. Right, I'm basically just going to repeat the same process again, but this time I'm going to use a purple eyeshadow. 
I'm going to use this one from my sleek makeup eyeshadow palette in Caraccio and the shade is called Purple Haze. I'm just going to start with, with the nose. Don't forget to blend it outwards. And once again, I'm going to apply it to the inner aloes. Keep blending it in, guys, until you feel it's looking how you want it to look. Right, we're now going to move on to making the actual cut in your nose. So what I'm going to do is take the pointy bit of my orange stick, as you can see, it's a bit grubby. Hang on. And basically, we're going to poke it in to the middle of the wax, where it's the thickest. I'm taking very slow strokes, start creating the cut. Now I want to make this cut look as sore as possible. So what I'm going to do now is take this lovely dark pink fuchsia set shade I've got. This is from my Sleep Makeup Eyeshadow Palette in Chaos. And I'm just going to smudge it over the outer edges of the cut. Supposed to the exposed areas that was created when you made your cuts. If you wish, you can also bend it around just to encourage the bruising more. Right, we're now going to start making the cut look more realistic. So, what we're going to do is take some red face paint. I am ashamed to show you this. I picked this up from Poundland last Halloween. There's not much left of it. So, it's in the shape of a bat. I just thought it looked funky and I couldn't resist it, so I had to have it. Anyway, I've got a thin angled brush and load up your face paint on it and then start applying it to the cut. Depending on what kind of face paint you use, you may find you need to press in quite well. I am finding I am having this issue because I suppose this face paint is quite cheap. It was, it was a pound, what to expect. Now comes the next bit. In my opinion, it's the best bit overall, and that's applying the fake blood. I'm using this one today. Once again, I found this in Poundland last Halloween. So it only cost me a pound. It's from Fright Night, and it's their blood spray. Um, I've already squirted a bit into my tray here, so I've loaded up my brush. I'm just going to start applying that to the cut. I suppose because you've already applied the red paint underneath, it gives it something to cling onto. Now, unfortunately, when you break your nose, there is one thing that does happen that isn't very nice. And that's you get blood dribbling out your nose. 
So we've actually got going to do now. Okay. Go to Google. And, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Splat it about a bit of it as well if you want. And there you go. One broken nose. Thanks very much for watching. I hope I um, kept you stimulated. Um, if there's any questions you'd like to ask me, please feel free to do so by leaving them in your comments down below. Uh, don't forget to give us a rating as well, because it's always good for us makeup artists to know if people like or dislike our videos. You know, once again, you can tell me what you don't like about them. Um, I seriously think I deserve to sip, sip of my coffee then. So, um, um, yeah, as usual, there will be pictures at the end so you can have a closer look at what I've done. But as usual, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, I'm going to go now. So you take care. And I'll see you soon. Mwah.